Hi, everyone. Thanks for watching. This is Edna Vargas. And I'm very, very glad you are here with me. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to our Go English class. So today, we, it's chapter number one. It's lesson number one. So we're going to the very beginning of this trip. The first thing that we need to learn is to greet people. Uh, whenever you meet someone, you have to be able, when you are learning to speak English or any other language, you have to be able to speak in English, to say hi, to say goodbye, etc. So remember that we have several, several uh, expressions that we can use to greet someone. One of the most common, as you know, is hi, and one of the most common is bye. So today I'm going to teach you the most uh, interesting expressions and we are also going to practice with, uh, with some conversations. So I'm going to start sharing my slide. Uh, my first slide is the welcome, welcome everyone. I hope you like this video. Please, if you like this video, uh, thumbs up, share with me or give me a, a like if you like it and if you want, someone to know more about this you can share my video and that's the, the very good it's a very good way you can help me well uh, today's lesson is about hello and goodbye so we have this conversation saying good morning sarah how are you how are you matt i'm fine thanks so this is this is a small conversation that in some schools like harmon holy use okay so they say something like this, they can teach you very well English. So as on a, other different schools like Pro Lakes, they have very good, they are very good at English uh, languages. Uh, I also love the, the natural speaking of um, some schools like quick learning. So you can choose any of the schools. And as an English teacher, I highly recommend the use of apps like Duolingo and some others that help you to improve your English speaking. So this conversation is, is uh, of Harmon Hall and it's about saying good morning. It's the very first greeting you can use at uh, in the morning. Remember, in the morning when you are talking about, uh, I don't know, 9 a.m., 10 a.m., even 11 a.m., or we can still use a uh, good morning expression. So after the expression, you can use the name of the person and the most common question we all we all know is how are you? Good, how are you, Matt? I'm fine, thanks. I'm fine is something that we know, something that everybody teaches us. But if we are honest, there are several expressions we can answer. So when I was in secondary, I heard some of my classmates saying something like, Pretty good, thank you. So that is less formal, I know, but it's also an expression that could easily work when you are speaking in English. So I'm fine, thanks is the answer. And then when you want to greet someone you're working with, we have the conversation number two from the Curse of Harmon Hall. That is, hello, I'm Math Lansky. Hi, I'm Emily Kim. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. So I thought this, this, um, this conversations from the course that I, I took from Harmon Hall that I found really interesting and that I could also learn how to differentiate the formal from the more formal and the less formal conversation. So I'm going back and here we have the building vocabulary. Uh, we have a goodbye or a late or some a conversation that is at night. It's about good night, good night, have a good evening. Uh, thank you, YouTube. So I wanted to, to take a look at this. I'm going to teach you also the pronunciation. The correct pronunciation for the first word, that is good. We can see the double O. I'm going to grab my little laser. It's right here. So we have good. Anytime you see double O, well, almost anytime you see double O, it's a long sound saying ooh. Okay. Good night. See that this G sound, it's about uh, the G, G. Practice this sound. Try to smile at the same time you're G, G, saying or repeating the sound. Good night. Uh, the H, of course, it's mute. So you don't have to say like the regular sound that is half. Have a good evening. 
um, almost all my all of my students struggle with this word because they want to read like in Spanish evening. So it's two different sounds in one word. We have the e of e evening. Okay, so this is the mm, that you the sound you to do with this mm, is done with your teeth. Mm -hmm. So practice with your teeth uh, while you pronounce or read these words. Good evening. I highly recommend to the use of good evening uh, when the sun is going down. Uh, you can say something like, well, it's almost night, but I can still see the light. Good evening is a very good expression because it's not good afternoon, but you know that the, uh, the sunset is almost there. Uh, and then we have Emily saying, thank you. This is a, the TH sound. Remember, it has two different sounds. We have the th and the th. This word is using the th sound. Thank you. You too. So we have three different uh, conversation you can use where I'm teaching you the most common expressions in English language and then I have conversation see you tomorrow okay see you tomorrow bye see you okay so whenever you want to practice these conversations at home do it uh trying to practice this with another person. So anyone, you are going to choose one character and the other person is going to read the other. So I'm going to do this, Sarah. I'm going to tell you, see you tomorrow. You answer? Okay, yes, bye, see you. If you tell me the first expression, I will answer, bye, see you. Okay, so now let's move to the next slide. And something like this, how are you, is an expression to say hello. Yes, we have several expressions to say hello and how are you. It's obviously used it when you are greeting someone. A hello, hi, um, good morning, good afternoon also. And then we have goodbye expressions that are like, see you later, see you, see you tomorrow, bye. Okay, so notice that we have a lot of expressions. So when you're talking to someone, if you want to sound more naturally, please try to combine your expressions and try to avoid the use of only one expression because that's the beautiful thing about knowing English and any other language. So you can use different expressions and avoid using the same expression of everyone. Okay, now, I have here also a list that I took from Harmon Hall's course uh, that we have to choose. You can do it at home, please. I'm inviting you to do this. I found this quite interesting because you have to be able to, to choose like the expressions in your responses. So uh, this is the course from the course number one. If you want to learn with them in the course number one, they will teach you some of these expressions. And you have to be able to choose expressions like see you later, bye, see you. It's something like this. Hello, good morning. Hi, I'm Helen. How are you? Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. Have a good evening. Good night. So please notice that the first expressions, hello, good morning, hi, how are you, are hello expressions. And have a nice day. See you tomorrow have a good evening and good night are goodbye expressions. So when you're working, uh, if you are taking notes of this English class or of this English review, please write and take some notes or write next to each expression that the, uh, I don't know, maybe a word that says hello, hello expression, an H for hello uh, or a G for goodbye. So you can identify easier uh, which expressions belong or which expressions you can use in each situation. And now we're moving to the next slide where I prepared some of these uh, graphs that I found also interesting. Noticing that I is less frequently, sorry, is more frequently used than goodbye. So if you want to sound natural, and when you are speaking to an English speaker, use bye instead of goodbye. And use hi instead of hello. 
So that is my recommendation. And to be honest, before the course of Hamon Hall, I used uh, goodbye and hello because that's what my teachers taught me. But not what your teachers, some of your teachers taught you like at school is what people use. Because remember that there is a difference between the formal speaking or the books, uh, information and, and text and what people use every day. So if you want to sound natural, try to use hi and bye instead of only using hello and goodbye. Now, uh, look at this. I used to work at Mani University, so that's why I applied this example uh, from the book that is the use of the verb to be in the positive and in the negative way. So I can say something like I'm Edna, that is the positive or the affirmative expression of the use of the verb to be. I am Edna. Remember when you are trying to speak naturally, you will use a contraction. Not, contractions are less formal. So you can say something like, I'm Edna, I'm not Priscilla. With this, I'm telling you who am I and who am I not. I can tell you I'm an English teacher. I'm not a dentist. I'm from Guadalajara. I'm not from Miami. So notice that I am using the affirmative and the negative expression. And I am teaching you three different examples to use properly the verb to be. Now, Going to learn something about the use of the verb to be in second person. You're studying in Man University, or maybe you're studying English in Harmon Hall or in Prolix. Anywhere, it's it's cool. Okay, you can study English. At least the the, well, the most important thing is that you are studying. That you decided to to make a movement in your life, and you decide to to speak a second language or another, I don't know, maybe you already speak two or three languages and this is your fourth. So that's cool. So you can say something in second person, like you are studying in my university or you're not in Ruby, you're not at school, you're not at home. And we also have the example of the plural in first person, plural, we. We're in the same class. We're not in different rooms. We are um, in class. We're not uh, on vacation, for example. So we have examples using different persons. Remember that we are going to learn how to divide the persons in singular and plural, in first person, second person, or third person in our next classes. But uh, at least try to practice at home with your own words. Try to eliminate, for example, if I pick up my laser, I will say something like this. I'm Edna, eliminate my name and use your own and then eliminate this and try to eliminate some of these words so you can use it and apply it to your own example. Okay, so guys, I hope you like this class, this video. That is the, this is the first topic that we're going to work with is the use of the expressions and uh, the less formal and more formal expression. So stay tuned and please pay attention to our next video. And I hope you like it. This is Ms. Edna Vargas. And if you like this video, please share it and subscribe. Bye.